Hello, welcome to Trade. I am your host, Tiffany Owino. The topic of today is e-mobility. The E in e-mobility stands for electric, thus electric mobility or electromobility. And this is the use of electricity in transportation. For example, electric buses, electric cars, electric motorcycles, electric unicycles, electric bicycles, among others. This electricity used is produced from renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, and geothermal. The benefits of e-mobility include, one, no air pollution. This is because EVs, that is electric vehicles, do not emit greenhouse gases. Two, no noise pollution. As compared to petrol vehicles, electric vehicles are almost silent. Three, cost effective. Recharging and maintaining an electric vehicle is cheaper than a petrol vehicle. In the recent years, many countries are adopting e-mobility in their transport infrastructure. And a report by the International Energy Agency shows an increase in the sales of EVs from 4% in 2020 to 14% in 2023, which is very commendable. Now let's take a look at Kenya. A report by the United Nations Environment Programme shows that 60% of air pollution in Nairobi alone, which is the capital city of Kenya, comes from the transport sector. As you can see, this is a very huge number and a threat not only to the environment, but to our health as well. In e-mobility, petrol stations are usually replaced by electric charging stations. And in Kenya, according to Electromaps, we have 18 electric charging stations. That is 11 in Nairobi, three in Nakuru, one in Mombasa, one in Kisumu, one in Kiambu, and one in Lake Ipia. As you can see, this number is still low and more stations need to come up so that more people are encouraged to buy electric vehicles. A report in the Renewable Energy Portal of IPRA shows that the registered number of electric vehicles stands at 350 out of the possible 2.2 million. As you can see, this number is very negligible. E-mobility is penetrating the Kenyan transport sector and we have seen examples of electric vehicles such as Basigo, Opibus, Metrotrans and Autoparks. The Kenyan government has also reduced the excise duty on electric vehicles from 20% to 10%. As 2030 is around the corner, embracing e-mobility will help achieve sustainable development goal number three, good health and well-being number seven affordable and clean energy number 11 sustainable communities and cities and number 13 climate action so the next time you are out in the market for a car kindly consider an electric vehicle this will not only be kinder to your pocket but to the environment and to your health as well thank you for watching and stay tuned for more renewable energy news